ወስፊስ <laughs> whip up right boys are good at whipping up yes or no we boys whip up okay every day right because like we're a little bit lazy to cook and we whip up right okay what do you whip up a whole hey what's going on this is unique english and i'm harik with mahari and how are you how are everything are you okay today we're going to learn about these food phrasal verbs you know food phrasal verbs you know food I should not feel food is good. Yes, of course. <laughs> cool. All right. So, like, phrasal verbs are verbs with preposition. They are said to be phrasal verbs. Okay. So, gobble down or bolt down. So, when you're gobbling down or bolting down, it means that you're eating quickly. But I'm both in this table. What can you say in English? I'm what? Gobbling, gobbling down. down. I'm gobbling down or I'm bolting down. Say it again. I'm bolting down. I'm bolting down. So, I'm bolting down. I'm bolting so, down. gobble down or bolt down are the same. And as you will have to mention that, They are the same. So, Ashinai, for example, when you don't have time to go somewhere, you want to put a sign, big time sign, what do you do? What do you do? I, do, you do? I, I bolt down. Yeah, you bolt down or you gobble down, right? Yeah. So, stop gobbling down when you eat together with me. When you eat with me, stop bolting down. I remember when I was a kid, you know, my brother was at, you know, good at, you know, bolting down and I was left, you know, uh, all right, okay. So, to gobble down or to bowl down means to eat quickly stop but not don't don't gobble down don't gobble down okay right let's eat let's it slowly where are you going where are you planning to go why are you gobbling down this food asset right so especially when you are small kids like we are gobbling down are not it we gobble down when we when we be given food together with brothers and sisters You started gobbling down. So to gobble down or to bowl down means to eat quickly. What does it mean? To eat? Quickly. Eat quickly. Buffet net? Mevlat man. All right? So that's it. And then read this one. Pigats. Pigats. Say, pigat. Pigats. 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 Wait, I give out what? We give you a good luck without you. You lost your appetite. Yeah, I got you. This is what? Right. Pick up. Because you have eaten, but then you have to eat. Blah, blah, blah. No. Even louder. Nam. So what can you call it in English? Pick at. Say pick at. Pick at. Huh? Pick at. Why are you picking at? What time do you pick at, bruh? Huh? Um, do you pick at when you go somebody's home? Maybe person. like, yeah. huh? You got a shame? Yeah. Okay. You like, you know, especially when you go somebody's home, uh, we pick at. But this phrasal verb is, you know, primarily used for, you know, for appetite. So when you lost our appetite, we pick at appetite chini meblat migifla kula sinata we pick at right we pick at ndi chiyarak we pick at or when you get a shame shame season mena nagara we pick at when you go somebody's home what can you do we pick at stop picking at say stop picking at stop ndi kibtu siyarak at bila ndi stop picking at eat well okay eat well all right that's it so you don't eat the same when you are at home and outside right yes when you are with someone what do you do When you are alone at home, I gobble down. down. Okay, no shame at all. Yeah? yeah. Okay, that's so cool. That's so cool. So he knows that. Fill you up, but you fill you up. What fills you up? Sit down, do the gib me other thing, man. Fill up, man. Fill you up, man. Sit down, do the thing. Sit down, the gib me other thing, man. Man, do no. What fills you up? The gib me other thing, man. Man, do no. No, no, this can be used, this can be used when you sit out, give me a drink, and I'll tell you, give me a drink, what do you want to drink? What? Feel, you have, eh? The food that I hate fills me up. 
Oh, no way, no way, no that way, no that way. Okay, so, aha, uh -huh. okay. So, this is positive, right? Do you understand me? Yeah. This is positive. For example, like you can say, Shuro fills me up. Say? Shuro fills me up. Shuro fills me up. Shuro fills me up. Shuro fills me up. And then the more figurative, the more this is how to give me a gun up, this is blue, Yanaga, fill up me with the Kamchilamano. So don't eat this. I don't want to eat cake. I'll cake me like that. Why? It doesn't fill me up. Because eh? it doesn't fill me it doesn't fill me up. It doesn't fill me up, but it doesn't fill me up. It doesn't fill me up. I don't want to eat cake. Why? Because it doesn't fill me up. What do you want to eat? I want to eat this shiro because it fills me up, right? You want to eat it. So what kind of food that fills your, your stomach, all right? What do you want to eat? What do you Some kind of food fills me up. What is that food that fills you up? Huh? Um, what can I Burger. Eat? Burger. Fills you up, sure. Yeah. But I salivate when I see burger. <laughs> you salivate when you see burger? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so okay, so. I feel uh, hunger. Yeah, you feel, oh, more. Yeah. Okay, so what fills your, what fills you up? Shura fills me up? Yeah, injera. Injera fills me up. Who didn't give me a good name? Injera fills me up. So it's in you, my mother's child. Me, my mother's child, 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 my mother's child. Do you understand me? Yeah. All right, okay, that's so cool. Fill you up, say fill you up. Fill you up. Okay, that's so cool. And then this one, this one, this one. Digging. Digging, say digging. Digging. All right, digging means like, as if I fit in a great one, look, as a guy, digging means eat, right? Yes. Say digging, what's it? Digging. Let's see, let's dig in. Let's dig in. Say it again. Let's dig in. Let's dig in lunch, what do you see? Let's dig in lunch. 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 What's for lunch? What's for lunch? Um, it's Njera. Um, yeah. All right, let's dig a line, Charlie. Miss Anubla, let's dig in. Okay, which one Anubla? Sit down and dig in. Sit and dig in, I told, down and tall. Sit and dig in, say, sit and dig in. Sit and dig in. Say it again. Sit and dig in. Americanish, come and, come, come and get it, Elon Americanish. Come in, huh? Get it. Is it come and get it, but is it come and get it? Come and get it. Nah, nah, blah, see, you like Americans never say, come and eat, come and get it, come and get it, say, come and get it, come and get it, come and get it, say, come and get it, hey, come and get it, dinner is ready, or lunch is ready, or something is ready, right? So, come and get it, right? Come and get it. If somebody gives you a call, be there, wouldn't it? I'm so hungry, what can I do? But I'm a robot, what should I do? Hey, come and get it, bro. This ready. I got a nice food, right? So, what is it? Huh? Come and get it. Come and get it. What's good, you know? Sit and dig it or sit and get it. What can I say? Sit and get it. All right, that's wonderful. So, what is the meaning of digging? To eat, all right? What does it mean? Eight. And then I just want you to see number five. Number five. Water, water down. Say water down. Water down. Water means what? Down. What is that? What is that? Water down means to dilute. To dilute. To dilute. To dilute. To dilute. To alcohol To alcohol To dilute. 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 To you know, that's my strong guess or no? Yeah. What do you water down when you drink? Whiskey. I water down whiskey. Whiskey. Water down mallet. Water down the whiskey. Water down the mallet. Water down the mallet. Water down the Water down the whiskey. Water down the mallet. 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 But the exp I mean, this, this water down can be used again in other words. Let me say water down your speech. Menin, Tanish Kazar Gohales, the boy Yalkuro, Limsale, he zirfit alamarina vinagas on the hay, water down his speech below. Tanish Menadragon Tanish Hales the bonig grins, water down your speech. So the phrasal verb water down has got a different meaning, right? A different meaning, a different meaning. So to water down is in. Maktani Honamadu, Maktani Honamadu, water down. Say water down. Yeah, water down, water down. All right, that's it. It's in the embassy. Warm up, right? So when I say warm up, warm up, though. I'm 
ማሞክ First of all, you cook. First of all, you make lunch or you make dinner. And then when you want to eat, like later, what do you do? You warm up your food. Warm up food. So that's it. Okay, that's so cool. And then, like, read number seven, number seven, number seven. Whip, whip, say whip. Whip, 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 up. Say it again, whip up. So that's it. When I say whip up, I don't know whip up. What do you mean by whip up? Uh-huh. When I say whip up means to prepare food quickly, man. To put the mix of bread, chili. That was that was hard. Whip up. Say, let me whip up, busy. Let me whip up. Let me whip up. Let me whip up, let me whip up. Let me whip up some food. But say, I'm busy. That was that was that was hard. Because I tell, let me whip up something because I don't have time. You know, I don't have time. Let me whip up something. You know, boys, what can you do? Like when we are at home. We don't we don't cook like something else which takes long time. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We whip up some kind of uh, some kind of eggs, you know, scrambled eggs or something. Whip up. What can you call it? Whip up. Whip up. Right? Boys are good at whipping up. Yes or no? Yeah. We boys whip up, okay? Every day, right? Because like we're a little bit lazy to cook and we whip up, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, what do you whip up at home when you're alone? I whip up eggs or yeah. I whip up eggs. You whip up eggs. And, um, mm-hmm. What we call it? Uh, t- 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 soya. T- t- soya. Yeah. Okay, taste is soya. <laughs> All right, okay. So, whip up means to prepare food very quickly. What does it mean? What does it mean to whip up? To prepare food very quickly. Okay, number eight. Pig. 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 Out such a pig out, Matasama, which matter, but I'm Buzumigum Mablatman. Asama Buzuba Mablatan with our call. Pig out, what is it? Pig out. Stop picking out when you say, Stop picking out. Stop picking out. Yeah, stop picking out, right? You stop picking out. Oh, oh my gosh, like, stop picking out, right? Pig out, say, Pig out. You know, people pig out in the summer season, yes or no? In the rainy season, like, people pig out a lot of food, yes or no? Yes. They pig out a lot of food in the summer season. So to pig out means, you know, to eat a lot of food or to eat much amount of food. That's said to be pig out. You guys like, are you pigging out? Let me pig out this burger. Let me pig out this burger. Wow, I like this burger. Let me, let me pig it out. Pig out. It's got like, in the sense of no man. Go and pig out the burger. He didn't know that. He didn't have a good Zach, he didn't have Zach. Hey, go, go and pick out a burger. Hey, I brought a burger. I bought a burger. Go and pick out. Right? He didn't have a good Zach. Go and pick out. Say, go and pick out. Go and pick out. Go and pick out, go and pick out your shirt. You see? Go and pick out your shirt. He didn't have a shirt on Zach and Yalkeiru. Go and pick out your shirt. All right, that's so cool. And the number nine in the building. Yay, Kabak. Say, Kabak. When I say cut, make sure no back. Are they? Kebab. Say kebab. Because you got onga, but that's not the term I'm talking. Come on, get the term I'm talking. Ka onga. So cut back on. But see, cut back on. When you cut back on, you know, some kind of food, it means that we reduce the intake of that food. Make it make endless matter. For example, when you gain weight, miss it, miss it, chamber. When you gain weight, right? Keep that chamber. What do you do? You cut, you cut on meat. You cut, you cut, you cut back on meat. Say cut back on meat. What do you see? Cut back on meat. Please cut back, let's see. Cut back. Cut back on meat. Please cut back on meat. Mean like anus no? Sigal like anus ale. Cut back on meat. Okay. Cut back on any food you take, right? So let's see. to cut back on food means that you reduce the amount of intake, right? Intake at Tumtos the Mutama go to Nagar make anus no because you want to lose weight, right? You gain weight and you want to lose weight, that time you have to cut back on some kind of food. Yes or no? Yes. What are you planning to cut back on? Mm. Uh, Not, uh, yeah, I don't have a plan to cut back on, but I have a plan to exercise. Or ah, to do exercise. Yeah. Okay, so, like, it's okay. So, 
ይሄ ምግብ መቀነስ ማለት ነው ስትወፍሩ ምግብ እንደዚህ ስትቀነሱ ምናለ ይሃቭ ቱ ካት ባክ ኦን ኢት ካን ቢ ዩዝድ ፎር ፉድ ፎር ድሪንክስ ምናም ሊሆን ይችላል ይግድ ለዛ ብቻ ማለት አይደለም ኢት ካን ዩዝድ ፎር ድሪንክስ ፎር ኤግዛምፕል አልኮል ቀነስ ስትለይ አረብ አካ አልኮል ቀነስ ስለ ዋካን አይሳይ ፕሊዝ ካት ባክ ኦን ዮር አልኮል ራይት ኢትስ ኖት ጉድ ፎር ሄልዝ ፕሊዝ ካት ባክ ኦን ዮር ሚት because you gain a weight right you understand yeah. so it can be for drink or it can be eh, for food man leon chilal ma adno okay you chin stand bevel live on bersi አሁን ባንድ ነገር ላይ ብቻ ምትኖር ከሆነ ባንድ ምግብ ላይ በተከታታይ አንድ ምግብ ምትበላ ከሆነ አይ ሊቭ ዩን ሹሮ ብትል ሁሉ ጊዜ ማንጋ ጥብቅ ብለ ነው ምትበላ ማለት ነው አይ ሊቭ ዩን ሹሮ ማለት ምንድነው ማለት ነው አ የዘወትር ምግብ ምንድነው ማለት ነው አይ ኢት ሹሮ ሬጉላሊ ማለት ነው አይ ሊቭ አይ ሊቭ ኦን ሹሮ ዩ ጋይስ ላይክ ዋት ዲ ሊቭ ኦን okay what is that some kind of food that you eat regularly i live i, I live on you know scrambled eggs i live on shiro i live on this food i live on that food right so is it degag me an neger mitbala ko hone you live on that kind of food and then these are called food phrasal verbs they're very important because it's very common to talk about food every day and i just want you to learn such things and try to brush up your fluency especially those people who live out of ethiopia who like to learn such things because you know native speakers use such things frequently in their conversation anybody who is interested in learning online classes you are welcome just call me by the number there uh, on whatsapp on telegram and other platforms and don't forget to try to just now uh buy such books all right so i have uh you know such a book i have such a book sorry i have such a book uh this is a context english amharic dictionary of conversational phrases and idioms this is the best book irasi mtsaf no wada arata mist milos mtsafoch chalu yengil lenaten mertnachu mtsaf betam mrts mtsaf no ke የትኛው መጽሐፍ መደብር በተለይ ዩኒቨርሳል መጽሐፍ መደብር በተለይ ታገኙታላችሁ አራኪሎ you can buy this book because it's a dictionary of such you know things and idiomatic expressions conversational english phrases and everything you guys like i love you so much love you i leave you don't forget to try to subscribe share my channel to the different people love you and leave you again right